The family of a Spokane climber has some closure this morning. His body was found in Canada days after an avalanche. A state representative from Spokane Valley is under close watch this morning. This is after an investigative report revealed concerning conversations. A new bill could keep Washington National Guardsmen here in our state. It all has to do with pay during wildfire season. Welcome to Crime 2 Morning News on the CW22. It is 7 a.m. now on this Monday. I'm Brittany Bailey. And I'm Jen York. Thanks so much for waking up with us on our Monday morning here at 7 a.m. It's going to be a beautiful day yeah. outside after a beautiful day yesterday. Mm -hmm. We're going to go enjoy the warm weather and the sunshine. Evan Narani is in the Weather Center this morning telling us everything we need <laughs> to know. Plus, Evan... We might have a few showers making a return to the forecast. That is true. We're looking at mostly dry skies for today, but by tomorrow morning, there is the chance that a couple of those showers are going to make their way in. Outside right now, mainly calm conditions, uh, partly cloudy skies. Those clouds likely to thicken as the day goes on, meaning that they're kind of setting the stage for uh, some showers possible into tomorrow, but there will be some sun breaks in it. Temperatures above average in the mid 60s by the afternoon. Satellite radar right now not picking up on any uh, significant cloud cover uh, nor any shower around the northwest, uh, so pretty dry and calm, calm conditions with a uh, little bit of uh, sun breaks as the day goes on. Now here's that wind gust uh, bar graph where you can see over the next 12 hours we are going to be seeing those gusts pick up to the teens. Now this is in anticipation for uh, that change on the way as uh, some showers move in toward your Tuesday. Those are going to be, be mainly some hit or miss showers. We'll be talking about that in just a little bit coming up. It's now 701, just about to be 702. Cody Crawford is going get, to get a check now of what traffic looks like. Good morning. There's some construction happening this week in Spokane. The right lane of Maple Street is closed from Wabash to Queen Avenue. Crews are working on installing water taps in the area. So if you're headed out in this direction this morning, I'd give yourself a few extra minutes to get by the construction. That is all the updates I have, but if you have any questions, you can head on over to our website at Grim.com. Brittany and Jen, back to you. Cody, thank you. We are following a developing story this morning. World class climber and Spokane native Jess Ross Kelly is now confirmed dead after an avalanche. Leaders with Parks Canada announced they found three bodies. The Ross Kelly family later confirmed one of the men found was Jess Ross Kelly. This is the last photo the climbers took before the avalanche. The experienced mountaineers were climbing in the Banff National Park in Alberta and were reported overdue on Wednesday. A helicopter spotted climbing gear near the avalanche. Bad weather conditions delayed recovery efforts and park leaders had to use a specially trained avalanche dog to find the climbers. Crews also found Ross Kelly's phone. His family says it had photos showing the three climbers reached the summit on Tuesday. Family members say Ross Kelly had a heart as big as the mountains he climbed, and they say they are overwhelmed by the support from people who love him as much as they do. Spokane police found a missing father and son. Eight year old Brendan Hall is now safe with his mom. Now police arrested his father, 42 year old Anthony Hall. Police found the two in a motor home in the area of Trent and Fancher. Officers had been searching for the two since Friday when Hall allegedly took custody of his son with a firearm. Because of this, undercover officers and an armored vehicle were used when arresting Hall. Coming up on 704 now, Washington State Representative Matt Shea of Spokane Valley is under national scrutiny this morning. This is after an investigative report revealed concerning conversations between him and other conservative personalities. Washington Lieutenant Governor Cyrus Habib called on State House Republicans to eject Shea from their caucus. The report was published by The Guardian. It alleges Shea offered to conduct background checks on Spokane residents for political purposes. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar of Minnesota also commented about the story on Twitter. She has been in the national spotlight herself for some controversial comments. Crim 2 did reach out to both Shea and the state Republicans for comment, but have not received a response. Washington National Guard members will make a little more money fighting wildfires this year. Governor Jay Inslee signed a bill into law allowing guardsmen to make the state's minimum wage. 
It's a little more than last year, of course. The guardsmen made about $11 an hour, and that's because their salary was based on the federal minimum wage. Governor Inslee hopes that the change will keep guardsmen from moving to states such as Oregon or Idaho where they can make more. It's a huge deal. We're going to be into this game uh, for, for years and years and years, and this is just about getting, uh, getting some of the, the, the paperwork right and the pay right from the beginning. Calling up the National Guard for fires in Washington used to be a rarity. However, the Guardsmen have been sent to wildfires now every summer since 2014. It is 7.05 now on this Monday, and today is Earth Day. We'll tell you how you can celebrate while taking care of our planet. Packing for a long trip can sometimes be a hassle. Deal Boss Matt Granite is here to show us one tool that can make packing easier and create more room in your suitcase. Leave teardrops everywhere You'd think me rude But I would just stand down 